Hello traders, welcome to this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency update and let's start as always with Bitcoin. Okay, so over the weekend Bitcoin did a couple of really important things on the chart that I just want to cover uh, very briefly and then we'll go on to the lower timeframes as usual. So first of all you can see here our weekly slash daily close that we did get that was just below that point of control. So this is our yearly POC, um, so the the area in which has had the most volume throughout the whole year on Bybit specifically. Uh, we've just had that close just below, okay? So you can see if we zoom in there how we touched that point of control yesterday, got that close below. We've had an attempt to move higher today and have are seeing this pullback on the chart right now, okay? So this is currently lying around that weekly open area. Uh, so quite an important area of support right now if we are gonna see this continue higher. Uh, the other important thing that we did do is We've basically come back through and taken out all of that previous range uh, just before we had that overall markup in price. So you can see our low here based uh, off of the, the low from the 7th of October. We've been moving down within this range. We kind of hit the top of it. We'd hit the point of control of it. And now we've just taken out the low. So that's all the liquidity really uh, needed from this little range here, uh, which is why we had such a nice strong reaction. OK, so you had this <coughs> continuous swing failure pans um, throughout the past week and then really uh, just taking out that low very very simple trade okay it was always likely that we were going to get this um, coming down taking out the lows from this prior range taking the liquidity there not going any lower okay so as soon as we do get that um, that low taken we just see the aggression from the sell side just shut off and we get that really nice bounce straight up into our point of control and up towards these other high time frame areas that we do have on the chart here so from a let's just continue looking at just a very clean chart here and very simply what we're looking at now is just downsloping resistance uh, that price has come into okay so you can see that we're still in this downtrend okay uh, you could pull this down into this area and <coughs> chopping around that um, and seeing if just from basically a time factor with this uh, downsloping resistance being quite steep if price can hold around this zone and hold within this kind of range from basically these lows um, up towards these highs if price can continue within this range then that would look start to look more bullish with this being the deviation that we did have over the past few days at the lows there um, in that case i would be looking for higher prices i'd be looking back up towards this 62k area uh, to fill in basically this inefficiency in the chart right here and uh, also go up towards those high time frame levels that we do have within that zone okay so um that's kind of Bitcoin in a nutshell, I mean, I can just quickly throw on the high time frame levels. Uh, it gets a bit messy at this point because what we do have is quite a few daily levels uh, right above us. Um, so here we go. Bitcoin currently around that weekly open area. OK, and we can see here. Let's just uh, throw on the VWAP. We can start to look at the, the lower time frames uh, just with with VWAP basically um, acting as resistance at the moment. And currently this weekly open also acting as resistance here. So we can see that close consecutive closes below on the 15 minute time frame. Nothing too significant. Uh, we could maybe see a move down towards this daily and see if that gets a bounce there. And obviously, if you want to draw your fibs and have a look at your single prints and all that kind of stuff, then that's also on the chart here as well. Um, but then, yeah, realistically, the, the main resistance above us is very clear. OK, we've got weekly, monthly, daily levels all above us around this uh, 58, 600 to 59K region. So if we do zoom out, that gives us a nice little pocket of resistance up here. You can see where this range was put in up at the highs. Uh, you can see where the support was before we had this breakdown in price. So if we do see another move higher up, uh, that would be, again, a nice opportunity to take a scalp short position. Um, Possibly trading that as like this being, oh, what could it be? Um, yeah, just another wave higher and then looking for a, a bit of a bigger pullback on that. Uh, however, the high that we did put in yesterday, this could see prices come down a bit lower. Anyway, uh, what else on the Bitcoin chart? There's not really anything else uh, that I want to be covering on this. OK, so we do have... If we have a look on our TPO, there's our single prints. Uh, there's our previous day point of control. There is the 80% setup 
in play, but we're a long way off of that. And I think another important factor in this is looking at the stock market. So if we do come over here and look at the S&P 500, we can see how that has bounced into an important resistance area. Now, I would expect a small pullback and I think S&P, the stock markets are going to come back in and test this area again. I'm not bearish on stocks at all, really. Uh, although the, there's the whole news and stuff, but realistically the panic has happened. That happened last week. I'm not really looking for any major, major downside uh, to this. Um, yeah, it's it's the same old news, isn't it? People just get on with their lives after the, the initial panic and we'll see if this holds. And, and again, for me, um, if uh, SPX can kind of come back within this area, hold above, then I'd be looking at all-time highs again later in the week. It's that kind of market. Any dip on legacy markets, you look to buy. And so far, it always works out quite well. Um, so, yeah, uh, if we go over on to... Let's just have a look at what else is moving here. So, Ethereum. Okay, let's go on to the daily level. Let's reset this slightly. And we can have a look here. So continuing really with that, just resistance of that previous all-time high, basically from way, way, way back when. Okay, earlier on in the year, you can see we had that nice move up into our one-to-one -one and our golden pocket. That was a great opportunity to take a short position back into our weekly level. Now we're getting a bounce and where are we again? Probably around that golden pocket region and that previous all-time high. So very, very clear resistance on this. Uh, Cardano is another one I would like to mentioned because we'd been looking at this for quite a while so finally $1.44 was the area that I was looking to buy it so after we did have that breakdown and back test this was the next area I was looking to buy you've got the daily order block you've got the 2018 all-time high you got your 7862083 level so that's a very very obvious level to buy I did buy it um, and again patience very important in that aspect and you just wait for that level to get hit and realistically now looking up towards that $1.90 area, as long as Bitcoin can kind of remain stable around here, I would expect a nice bounce off of this because also you do have the BTC pair on here that's continuing to build these nice divergences at the lows and is in a very important area of support. Okay, this green box zone uh, being a very important area of support, very similar to what Bitcoin has done. This has come down and taken out the low from that range. Uh, that we did have so it's taken out below we're having that little retrace back down now and i would expect again conditions um being relatively stable this week i would expect to bounce off of this fairly soon uh, any other crypto stuff to be looking at is there anything that's moving significantly it's all good um we can take a quick look at Litecoin, which is still down at this daily level after seeing a resistance on the monthly. We can take a look at Link. Nothing too important there. After the resistance that it did have. Okay, so that's basically the the brief overview of the market. Um, again, uh, we are so we're now in Cyber Monday, aren't we? We did do this plan on or this deal on Friday about the uh, by three months get one free, by six months get two free, by twelve months get four free. On, on the new website. Now today I'm gonna to do this as kind of a soft offer. Uh, so basically anyone who missed out on this, we have had a few messages. If you do it with the crypto payments, we're not gonna do it with the, the main payments anymore. Um, it just gives us a bit of a headache because it's still a very new system that we're working with. But if you do the crypto payments today, okay, so it is a three months, uh, you'll receive one month free, it'll get added onto your plan. If you get six months, you'll receive two months free added onto your plan. If you buy one year, you'll receive four months added onto your plan uh, with the uh, the crew community. And then, of course, what you do get with that is access to our additional Discord areas. OK, so you can go on to uh, you'll see on the Discord, you get access to the coaches corner sections. You get access to a lot of the trading ideas within the main community here. Um, you get access to all the playbook strategies. OK. And then this week we will be adding our um, learning zone section. So you'll get access to all of that as well. So it's just a ton of extra um, stuff on the Discord and also the 
um, the server, which is where we host all of our, well, basically like thousands of hours of content now. Um, all of the live streams, all of the trading rooms, all the trading rooms we do every week, which is like four or five trading rooms and, and talks within the community, um, open sessions every week, trading it live. Uh, and all of the other educational content that's there. So we're going to offer that as like a little so soft Cyber Monday uh, thing for anyone who's still watching this video. I may or may not make an announcement today on it, uh, but if you're seeing this video, then there's the announcement. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. I will catch everyone later in the week, of course. Uh, there will be more content coming out this week. And of course, with the crew, We'll have our crew call tonight where we will go over everything in much more detail. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, bye.